Good day, friends. Maloa here. I am on my smuggler. We're gonna go finish up the corruption um, quest here. You may notice that I went from level 45 to 48. That's because I participated in a rampage with my guild this past weekend. It was a lot of fun. Got a lot done. Got some leveling done. So hopefully playing through the rest of the storyline is going to be super awesome. Master, you'll be pleased to know I added extra padding to all the seat cushions aboard this vessel. I hope you find them comfortable. I hear you've had some trouble on Voss. Hmm, Captain? Senator Dordana asked me to call. She's busy defending her decision to send such an undiplomatic ambassador to Voss at a crucial time. Any success learning Rogan's business? Rogan's pipeline to Voss is gone for good. I'm sure the senator will sleep easier knowing that she won't wake up to a cyborg Nexu on the pillow. You've got Rogan in full retreat. He's calling her surviving lieutenants for a war council. I checked into all of Ivory's bolt holes. The bar on Tatooine seems to be the one still active. Rogan always shows up to spoil my good time. Let's give him a taste. Here, here. I bet I could get a good bid price to see the look on his face. This is your chance to wipe the slate and call the biggest criminal empire in the galaxy your own. Rather laggy tonight. Okay, before we go do that, let's go pay these debts off, so... Let's head over to Alderaan. Not sure why this thing is blinking. We'll click on it later. Lag is making it pretty challenging to navigate.
I've never had the lag this bad in this game. Have fun with that. The boss, thank you, outsider. Okay, let's head to Balmora next. Master, you'll be pleased to know I added extra padding to all the seat cushions aboard this vessel. I hope you find them comfortable.
Thanks for the business. May your future be clear, outsider. Coruscant Blast. I held up my end of the deal. You bring yourself honor, outsider. Look here. Why are you calling me? The last package was received. You are free of obligation. Thank you. I would have been relegated to hard labor for my crimes. Off to Tatooine. Actually, let's chat with everybody aboard my ship. Catch up a little bit before we go off to the next adventure.
Guess who found a potential accomplice in the Debrillian aristocracy? Feast your eyes on this hollow embossed, genuine flimsiplast invitation. See that fancy arabesque lettering? Hand drawn, in ink, classy. Count Merritt Renald requests the favor of your presence at a discreet location in the Galactic Senate Tower on Coruscant at a time of your choosing. Coruscant? Why not to Brilliant? Coruscant is neutral ground. Meeting at the Senate Tower? That's a gesture of respect. Count Renald is one of the most popular nobles on Dubrillion. He's also secretly organizing a rebellion against the King. His invitation is addressed to Risha Drayan, royal heir to the Drayan dynasty. He's taking me very seriously. The Count sounds like the kind of accomplice you need to overthrow the King. I'm contacting him by Hollow to arrange our meeting. Wanted you here to help me get a read on him. Opening a channel. Whoa. This is a tremendous moment, your royal heiress. I grew up hearing tales of the Draen dynasty, the great battles your ancestors fought. I never believed I'd meet a member of that proud bloodline in person. You have my deepest sympathies for your family's exile. Risha wants back into Debrillian politics. You can make that happen, right? You must be the starship captain who recovered the crown of Debrillian. My world is in your debt. The king wants that crown, and my head. He won't be happy if he finds out we're talking. The man has lost all reason. He must be removed from power, but in a way that spares our world a bloody civil war. I believe the common people and aristocracy alike would embrace the Draen dynasty heir, especially if she wears the crown of Drabrillion. I doubt your current ruler will abdicate just because Risha has a better hat. The king's power base is already unstable. It will crumble under the right pressure. Right now, you are an outsider. The only way to change that is to marry someone from the existing aristocracy. Get married? To who? Well, <clears throat> the only available suitor is... <sighs> Great stars, this is awkward. I am offering myself in marriage to you. This guy doesn't beat around the bantha. How do you want to play this? You could have at least sent flowers, Count. I understand my proposal is abrupt. But I wished to make my intentions clear, and not waste your valuable time. I certainly don't expect an immediate response. All I ask is that you consider this for the good of the Brilliant. That'll be easier to do once we've met in person. I'm on my way to Coruscant. See you there, Count. Well, that wasn't awkward at all. Hmm. Hmm. The Count was a lot nicer than most of the people we deal with. Hard to be sure over the Hollow, but I'm comfortable enough to meet him in person. Under the circumstances, I should probably take this meeting alone. Be back soon, Captain. Never talked to a complete stranger for that long before. Count Renald gives to charities, builds orphanages, creates wildlife preserves, and those are just his hobbies. You ever consider we've been wasting our lives? I do everything for one reason, to get rich. It's straightforward, easy to remember, and works amazingly well most of the time. Ah, the simple life. Anyway, I left the negotiations open. I told the Count I needed time to think about his proposal. That'll give me a chance to run a deep background check. If this guy is as good as he seems, he just might help me overthrow the King without getting married. Count Renald is a man of his word. He sends me daily updates about his rebellion's progress. Incredibly sweet, beautifully written updates. I knew taking to Brilliant's throne would be a challenge, but this is getting complicated. Merits every bit the man he appears to be. Even the dirt I've dug up on him turned out clean. I can't wait to hear what skeletons are rattling around his royal closet. He stole the crown jewels when he was five. Got a slap on the wrist, and he's been clean ever since. Seriously. Nothing about this guy triggers warning bells. 
When it comes to husbands, I could do a lot worse. I'll stop bothering you. I needed to talk, and you're the only person who understands me. I'm always here if you need me. I'm sure there's trouble somewhere with our name on it. What do you say we go take all its credits? I was prepared for almost anything if it meant becoming queen. Foiling assassination attempts, fighting wars, bunking on this ship for years. Just kidding. <laughs> Marrying the Count was never part of the plan. Can I really do that? I'm trying to think of what I wouldn't do to become rich and powerful. Nope. I got nothing. I've seen how your eyes wander every time we land on a new planet. You might get married, but could you stay that way? Ugh. I hadn't even thought about producing heirs. Not that he wouldn't be a great... father. This conversation's officially given me a headache. Let's go do something outrageous. That I can handle. They should make every Jedi kid spend time in a war zone. When you see what real Sith are like, it makes my blood run cold. And don't make any fish jokes there. I'm serious. It makes you see why the Jedi make such a big deal about not giving in to the dark side. Isn't don't give in to the dark side kind of Jedi school 101? I never thought I was the type. You know, like all Sith had to be these brooding sadistic puppet masters. But Master Lauren was right. The road to the dark side starts with things we all feel. Jealousy. Greed. They're all the seeds of it. I'd rather spend the rest of my life meditating on a cold rock than turn into that. I have learned more about the scum who betrayed my clan. Tiari Rook claims he has earned the title Mandalorian. But I heard nothing of him passing the trials of strength and courage required to join a clan. Sell your services as a Mandalorian without the whole honor and loyalty thing. Why didn't I think of that? Because any true Mandalorian would be honor-bound to kill you. I have called myself Mandalorian since I left my mother's side at age three to begin training. It is not easy to put that behind me. Most kids that age are mastering the toilet, not the blaster. Most kids are not Mandalorian. We start training for war when our bodies and minds are still elastic, to make what we learn a part of ourselves. I had a jetpack and blaster before I ever had a friend. You may be my first. I do not presume to question your choice of crewmates, but I am curious. Why allow yourself to be surrounded by the weak? Only the Wookiee displays any strength of character. He understands honor. The rest are petty criminals. Cut the farm boy some slack. He's good in a fight. He even has a conscience. He is too weak of spirit to make hard choices. He will hesitate and fail you. One thing a Mandalorian never has to question is a clan mate's honor. I could always count on the strength of my fellow warriors. I always sleep lightly aboard your ship. How well, they each have strengths in their own way. doing pretty well with the rage thing. Alright, let's go 
see what that is all about. Mission console. Oh, it's the Elam one. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing the Elam story arc at the moment. Alright, well, that concludes today's adventure. Be sure to tune in tomorrow as we travel to Tatooine. Happy hunting!